Welcome to Paranormal Night Shift, your home for all things that go bump in the night and your fan stories told here. Today's story comes from Catherine and is called The Polite Poltergeist. COVID was rough, to say the least. My husband and I both lost our jobs and we were on the verge of losing our house, all while my mother was handling trying to take care of my grandmother. She had been sick prior to COVID, but she got COVID and it was not good at all. I hate to call it fate, but the day that we lost our house was the day that we lost my grandmother, and it did open a perfect opportunity for us to have somewhere to live. My mom owned the house, and she signed it over to me and my husband. My kids, my husband, and I had somewhere to live, somewhere to go, and it was grandma's house. It already kind of felt like home. My grandmother never particularly cared for my husband. We spent the next couple of days getting things together and getting things moved out of the house. It wasn't that she didn't like him, it that she always thought he could do better. It's not that she didn't like him, but he would do things that drove her crazy, like leaving the lights on or leaving doors open. So while me and my mother were going to take care of the funeral arrangements, well, my husband was left cleaning out the house. And of course, he's leaving every light in the house on. He would go into a room, turn the light on, leave the room, and then of course when he came back in the room, the light was off. Same thing with the TV. If he turned the TV on and leave the room, well, she would turn it off. First, he didn't notice it, but it began to really start creeping him out because every room he would go in, he'd turn the light on, and then when he'd leave, the light would go off. When I got home that night, he told me, something's weird with this house. Like, I kind of feel like your grandma's still here. Of course, I told him he was being silly, but then I started to notice it as well. I would go into the bathroom and leave a light on, and sure enough, the light came off. We spent hours searching for some sort of timer or breaker or anything like that that she would have put in her house to automatically turn off, but nothing. We finally put it to the test one night. I turned every light in the house on while we went to go get food, but sure enough, when we came back, every light on the house was off. Now, we just admit her existence. We say, hey grandma, or bye grandma, every time we go in and out of the house. It was really funny the other day, and I don't know if I should write this, but my husband and I were spending some mommy, daddy alone time together, and we had the lights off. We were about to enjoy each other's company, and the lights in our bedroom flung on. Okay, grandma, we're gonna have to work out some sort of a deal. I just thought I'd share this story with you. It's sweet, and I know it's not as scary as some of your others, but it's a nice way to think that your parents or grandparents are always with you, even if they are still a little annoying.